Check this out. These drones are something that you've never seen before. Some are made of food and others from toy parts. I'm sure you've never heard of drones made in Africa, but today I'll show them to you. This odd looking drone was specifically built for defensive purposes. The drone has a plain leg structure with propellers at the sides. It may look not fly worthy, but surprisingly, it can fly. In his own country in Ethiopia, where drones are as rare as they come, this young lad saw the opportunity to make one himself. To demonstrate it can be used for defensive purposes, he uses some fireworks. Do you think it can be used for defensive purposes like the American drones? This is also another drone made in Ethiopia. It has three propellers and some toy motors. It's controlled by an Xbox controller. Surprisingly, it did lift off but had a very rough landing. After some improvements and some improvisions, these are the results. Next, we have our first ever passenger drone made in Africa, although it doesn't fly yet. The main intentions of this drone is to act as a flying taxi. The good thing about it is that it's fully made of carbon fiber materials, so it should be pretty light to take off, which is also a good sign. The process of making this drone was pretty interesting. It took three days to make the drone, where they first made a metal sketch, then molded and afterwards added the carbon fiber, which was then shaped and designed before adding the motors and the propellers. So do you think it will ever be able to take off? And speaking of taking off, check out this drone that is controlled by a TV remote controller. Okay. 
This is also another drone made by a university student in Rwanda. It's fully plastic and made of some toy motors. Well, I didn't think it would be able to take off, but surprisingly, it did. And things just keep getting interesting. For our next video, we may consider it the car drone of Nigeria. This drone was made by a computer science graduate. So the inventor has been able to combine a plane and a car into one. Meaning that if for example you are ever stuck in traffic with this car, you can easily just fly away, meaning you will never have to experience any slow traffic, ever. In the ground, and as a plane, it can take off. Mm. It can take off vertically like, a, like an helicopter. Okay, okay. And it can also bring... Yeah, it can, it can bring it back. Next, we have the bamboo drones, or nature drones. These Tanzanian drones are basically made of bamboo sticks and some styrofoam. So it's safe to say that these are natural drones uh, made from nature, you know, because they utilize tree and uh, nature. Anyway, Let's go to Niger, where this man has built a medical drone that can help with health emergencies, like transporting things like drugs and other medical He controls the drone using this VR headset, and the drone is made up of pieces of carton boxes. Then we have this mini drone made in Senegal, that is made of 1cm and 2cm motors. And it's controlled by a gamepad controller. The drone is 14 centimeters wide, almost the size of my hand, or maybe smaller. And it's held together by a normal kind of tape. It's almost as small as that fly. This drone can still fly. We also have another drone in Uganda that is also made of a soda can and some toy motors, some light sticks and very light stands made of pen containers, um, pen containers like this. You have to make sure that the clockwise rotation is equal to the anti-clockwise rotation such that that drone is balanced that's why you're seeing some of the motors they are rotating clockwise and the other motors are rotating anti-clockwise for the batteries uses batteries that were found in a bulb talk about using what you have the guy that made this drone came from an extremely poor family so he worked very hard to make this drone fly last but not least we have another wooden drone that was made in Eritrea or the North Korea of Africa. This drone was developed by the government and they claim they can also be used for defense purposes. Wooden drone for defense purposes? 
Nah, I don't know about that one. This is from Gambia, made from pieces of plastics found in a cassette radio, which is basically the only drone on today's list that can't fly. Well, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to join our incredible adventures across Africa. Peace.